here are the top 5 glitch effects for DaVinci Resolve. 4 out of these 5 glitches are completely free, so let's check them out. You can download all of these glitches from my PayUp store, and after installing them, you will find them in your effects library. The first glitch is called Refraction Glitch. To use it, simply drag it onto an adjustment clip, and you will instantly see the refracted noise distortion. In the inspector, you can fine tune the look even more. The X glitch slider controls the horizontal strength of the refraction, while the Y glitch slider makes it vertical. The angle determines the direction of the glitch lines, and a combination of these three settings can make the effect quite intense. The smoothness slider controls the speed of the refraction impulses, but in my opinion, keeping it at the lowest value usually gives the best results. The next one is the mosaic glitch. This effect breaks your image into glitching fragments that can take on different geometric shapes, which you can change in the cell shape control. If you lower the pixel frequency, the shapes become larger and more visible. Just like with the refraction glitch, you can also adjust the X and Y glitch strength and the smoothness to refine the look. The third glitch is my one frame glitch preset. One frame glitches only appear for about one to three frames, which make them super versatile for quick, punchy effects. To use them properly, shorten your adjustment clip to match that duration. In the inspector, you will find the main glitch control, where you can choose between 11 different glitch types. If you expand the labels, you can even tweak some of them even further. The most common one frame glitches are radial blur, invert color, and pixel displays. But my personal favorite is the square one frame glitch. You can adjust its position and size or even invert its color. Just experiment a bit and see what works best for your edit. The next effect is the only paid one on this list, Hope's Pixel Sort, a pixel sorting glitch plugin. Since it's a Fuse plugin, you'll find it inside Fusion. Just press Ctrl plus Space, search for Hope's Pixel Sort and connect it between your in and your output nodes. The main control here is the strength slider, which you can animate with keyframes, NM curves, or even the shake modifier. This plugin sorts pixels based on their luminance values, but you can also switch the sorting to U, saturation, or even the RGB channels. The XY toggle changes the glitch direction from vertical to horizontal, while the plus minus switch flips the sorting side. The positive negative option determines whether dark or bright color gets sorted first. And the invert color and black and white toggles can make the result even more glitchy. The last one is my glitch transition pack, which is designed mainly for transitions between two clips. You've probably seen similar transitions in edits that use the After Effects plugin called Glitchify. This pack is a rebuild of this effect, but for DaVinci Resolve. It's free to download, though it includes one preset that's based on my pixel sorting plugin. Don't worry if you don't have it, you can still use all the other transitions without any issues. To create a transition, I recommend using an adjustment clip that's about one second long. The first transition is the bar glitch, where you can adjust the maximum bar height and the bar range, which controls how much the bar wobbles. A range of 0 keeps it static, while the position sets where that area starts. You can also adjust the rubble strength, speed and gamma, which affects the brightness of the bars. Turning it down makes them darker and more glitchy. The next one is the glitch box transition, which includes three types of glitching rectangles. Displays, invert color and RGB shift. You can toggle all of them on and off individually. The glitch speed slider determines how often the boxes change their position. A speed of 1 means once per frame, while 10 means every 10 frames. You can also change the size, size variance and overall strength, which controls how many rectangles appear on screen. Next is the pixel sorting glitch transition, which has an animated strength slider. This animation makes the pixel sorting fade in and out, zero at the edges and strongest in the middle of the clip. You can change the curve from ease in out to ease out in, depending on which flow looks better in your edit. Then there's a simple red screen transition, where you can adjust the intensity. And finally, the glitch shake transition, which adds a subtle camera shake for extra glitchy movement. You can combine multiple transitions 
in a single adjustment clip or just pick your favorites. It's completely up to you. And that's it. The top 5 glitch effects for DaVinci Resolve. If you want to see a part 2, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check out my editing discord in the description. I hope this video was helpful, like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.